think the moment I actually got cancer was the moment I animated the frame in Dirtnap where we blow God's head off with a shotgun. That's payback for, for that. It has to be. I play music. I just love it. I started playing when I was 10. I remember my mom came down to the basement where I was practicing. And she said, in her southern accent, you know, you gotta play a beat. The drums, the drums have to have a beat. What you're doing, you're just making noise. And I was like, all right, sorry, I'll give that a shot. And she was right, that's what drums are for. I was just down there just beating the shit out of them, just hitting it. And uh, she gave me some good advice. Drums are, you know, play a song, play a beat. That's about it. Start, keep going. Until the song's over, keep the beat. And uh, I'm glad you told me that. Helpful. <laughs> Once I started, I've never not been in a band. I live in my neighborhood. So does lots of other folks Don't know any of their names The stuff that I write, I think it's mostly funny stuff. There's a song about food that I called Food Song. When I was a kid, probably about the same time I started playing drums, I started making, you know, silly Super 8 movies and stuff. Stop action, animation and stuff like that. And just like my music, I was more interested in making people laugh or kind of shocking people with what I did. Baby, oh my God, it's dead. You know, go forward 35 years. When Mark and I uh, decided to do Dirt Nap, it started off as a, as a puppet show. A couple weeks later, I was like, hey, I bought a program that has 3D characters in it. All we have to do is animate it. And uh, eight years later, we finished our movie. The stupidest thing I ever did. <laughs> Neck death. Shot 20, take 17. Well, animation takes a while. I discovered. <laughs> Cut. That was great. Fuck no. We would never ever ourselves do an animated film again. And uh, I don't want to animate anything anymore. I like still things. Like that. Crap. Some folks say when you die, you go to heaven. Some folks say when you die, you go to hell. My perspective on death has changed considerably in the last year. I can have myself a little dirt now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spent a lot more time wondering about it in the real tangible sense and not the cartoon version. I was at work one day and felt like I was having a heart attack. And uh, for the last month, I've been having trouble swallowing food. They sent me to a uh, specialist. He sent a camera down my throat. Uh, I had to wait a day or two. So finally he called and said, I'm sorry, but, you know, it's cancer. I called my mom, of course, to tell her what happened. And her good friend who was visiting, her husband is the first cousin of a surgeon who is the absolute best in the business when it comes to what I have or had. Because he removed it. I had it removed. Uh, amazing. How, you know, how lucky I am. And that's how I feel about it. Lucky. Well, to a point. Lucky people don't get cancer. Cancer. <laughs> you try to stay positive, but it'll, there are times, you know, it'll still overwhelm you. 
the big fear. What if I, what if it comes back? What if I, I can't plan to live to be an old man. And that stuff is so dark and scary that I can't fight it. I just let it do its thing. And then I come out the other end and I have Lori and I have Ruby and I have every reason in the world to believe I'm gonna survive and right now I have I'm, I am technically my doctor told me Friday in remission and a survivor my doctor told me Friday in remission and a survivor I haven't written anything since my diagnosis. What if it comes back? What if I, I can't plan to? This cancer has so changed me and what I do and who I am that there's nothing else I could address with music right now or first than that. I'm a surgeon who is the absolute. I think I need to do it just to get it out of my system. Showtime! Start, keep going. Oh, it's on the car. Keep the beat. When you're out drinking and your head is still stinking and it's 4 a.m. I've got an appointment with the Almighty. You got an empty stomach and so makes you are a hanker I've got an appointment with the Almighty. Of all the stupid things, I didn't lose my hair. This is not from cancer, this is because I just shaved my head all the time. And I lost my hair in my twenties. I'm hairy like, like an ape on my back. Every, you know, whatever. None of it fell out. Very unfair. May I take your order?